hey what's up we're in the next part when this girl comes out came out now go check out the previous parts when she finally confessed um when she uh oh my goodness i take for granted that the video that i lost i this information was in it so this little girl this girl the mother was um a church goer and she was a christian she actually tried to sacrifice that was her first mission to sacrifice her mom but she couldn't because the mom not holy spirit the mom was born again right um and so she couldn't get to the mom the mom used to go to church with this child of hers and the mom was and this chick spoke about how it is that I have to sit lest the Holy Spirit should be rampant in the church and so therefore arrest them in some way and so they can just quickly get out that's why they sit at the bag so usually and anyway moving on um uh type establishment thing yeah no so this chick spoke about how unana le matla so much in the occult that she could overwhelm um in ferola church was somewhat not prayerful they were kind of weak or what and what have you but then one day they were praying that's what you know they just feel as if i'm here because my mom brought me so but why do they just leave their kids at the back if they want to sit there and so far as they're cool and this chick spoke about how the pastor was they, they were in prayer and he suddenly got a vision and he stopped and he basically was like there's something dark in this in this environment and it, it's it's hovering somewhere in that corner come out he didn't even like ask this thing he just said come out more than thing and then when i usually she could control what happens like a speedy like a little go goon running away she all of a sudden she doesn't know if she ran to the front or if she flew to the front or if she was thrust by the spirit all of a sudden she just found herself pasta and the pasta was like what are you into the pasta literally just asked this girl on some what's going on and this chick just looked at the pasta on some i don't know what you're talking about i'm and the pasta i pasta walked to kokoning it was a tent like meeting kokoning akuta I'm Mosheba on some one is so what are you into boo? It's what I And this chick was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what like I'm fine. And I can write it. the whole service ya fella, pasta ended everything. Ne serves church service ya fella. Abita me wanwanona ne le le like a couple of people in the church and what he said really touched me. He said we can't leave her like this. Udri za me wanwana o hore. Rekasimu tuchela le so make hali in denial. On some wa kangwana, wa ka isin wa kangwana. Mwana ka hasebele to satani and the pastor was like mwana kaho is in or twelve hard knock Una lady, she works for Satan. She's not even just oppressed. She is possessed. This pastor went home with a burden. Went to go see this child. Went to go see this child. Went to go see to go see this child. Went to go see this child. Went to go see this child. Went to go to go see this child. Went to go see this child. Went to go see this child. Went to go to see this had dinner with in sister Ari the day when she got busted called out from Ikona and she was standing in front of the pastor Arnelika Augusti by the time she finally accepted deliverance or the deliverance actually did happen nearly December of the same year Ari she felt so powerful so strong every time you would be like come out this woman this child no type thing because she did not want to let them go she was in bondage a slave to the the kingdom of darkness and she just wanted to stay there she was not interested in being godly literally there was nothing attractive of godliness she was happy in that dark place it it, it showed me guys what these people are really truly in some kind of bondage um they they really genuinely feel like it ain't broken why try to fix it Ababoni, the lord has come to set the captives free they are like jailed prisoners they aren't even aware they're in prison which is worse because then if at least if you're in prison you can try and apply for parole you can uh, try and work in good behavior or, or at least when you feel like a magic wand you found something that that can help you as more to when like a bird making like nelly Furtado. if you seriously feel as if though the occult has given you your future your prosperity you've arrived you're not gonna want to let this thing go you're gonna look at bazolani as these weak nambi pambi people they don't have all the glorious things like you know suffering is the lot and the bread of the disciple and so our suffering is is, is sometimes 
sometimes the thing that disincentivizes people from turning to Christ because they feel like, look, if Satan has given me a big fat mansion, why? Why would I want to join you guys? Yo, guys, this chick, Kiashaba Pasta on some Nike Tiba, like what I do, goes go long. At some point, she spoke about how, how can how can fit a mushy man and hata seta? I see a story, I see a story. Kitom Montamai, Kitom, like she was proud, she was full of revenge, and she looked at this pasta on some. There's nothing wrong with me. What do you mean? I tell La Shikida. This pasta was like, okay, me, wait a second. I've got a nice house. Woman, I do comfortable. Like December, Rata was at the turkey. Rata was at the sweet corn. Woman, I did. Get Christmas service. Banabaga, they have a lot of fun. Honestly, swimming pool going through. Kupang wana kaho. I gave. He had kids that were the age of this girl, like teenagers, right? He was like, I wana kaho. I try to spend that December holidays go going through yak. I try to spend that December holidays live banabaga. But I'm a mother. I'm a mother. I get the chomika of the lava. I get the I read it. I school. Era at that watch. I at Ultra Swimmer. Go swimming poolung. Home on that. I December going through. I can remember when I how. I just spend that the whole of December holidays going through. This chick was like, ah, whatever. Melka wants me to go. I can't say no. Kitty teenager. I don't have the rights, so I'll just go. And she went. And indeed, the pastor's kids were very accommodating, loving. Um, you know, hi, how are you? I'm Tabo. I'm John. I'm Rifile. Yeah. So what school do you go to? Oh my goodness. Uh, do you want to watch? Do you want to see my bedroom? Yeah. The kids of the pastor were on that tip. You know, daddy done warned them. Okay, this child, Utwezi, have a like demon possessed. So be kind, love her, love her. And this pastor invited this kid over. And for the December holidays, why enjoy, why enjoy, Nandi got along. And one day he had a, ser a service go into Nyakache, as in like a bit of a home cell situation. And never fast, but to back for this child, like the Bamu Planeti, Bamu Planeti. It was like, uh, you know, fasting for a couple of days, your body is nice and prepared for uh, an establishment of that nature. So home cell study group. We can't just leave her like this. Oh, hold it on to these things, and because that's what is making entry difficult. We can't just force them out. Some demons come out with fasting and prayer, whether or not moto or ditwe. So this man gathered all of these church mamas and they went bamtandazela. It didn't even take long. wa She used to be able to get out of her body and enter into like an animal in the room. The first time, I feel a mullo the Holy Spirit. Haba bata unta this thing. I kalau manifesta now. Uh, she escaped her body. I see us to pull more I can in a spider and watch the pastor doing whatever. And just when the pastor thought he that he was delivering her, oh, I prosper. I have relaxed. I have pastor have relaxed because when I'm off in the she's doing, she's astral projected into a spider. And then she said that she went back. I know this sounds taboo, but I believe her. Why would she lie? After the pastor and them stopped praying over her, while we are in Benwake, as soon as she went back inside her body, the pastor looked back like that man was richly anointed. Like you know, deliverance ministers. Like let's go and get Guys, there's something that God gives them. She spoke about how feel an electric charge in his fingers, in that like he can tell that there's an entity, and so that's why he walked away from her and was like um type thing in the church. So as soon as she went back inside her body, and it wasn't just his dumbo that she left there, uh he, he could tell Lord I saw it. Like wow, like before without even a warning, and that's when she started the demon then, not her, the entity, the legions in her. That's when they spoke. That's when they spoke on some voice. She doesn't remember what happened happened but who visited the philosopher voices that were speaking to this pastor and ultimately cast them out while Vuga I left light on her feet fresh and it was only at this point that she was overwhelmed with an exorbitant amount of guilt for what she did and for the first time ever since they initially recruited her Ufizi horrible for the misdemeanors let's go into the next